Well, in the last video, um, I was talking about I was afraid that maybe I didn't have a queen and maybe I had a laying worker. So I went back in today, and that is definitely the case. There is no queen in this hive. Uh, there is just, um, there's a laying worker. So the deal is, is all the worker bees are females. Um, but they don't lay eggs, just the queen does. Well, in the absence of a queen, the worker, one of the workers, or even more of the workers, will uh, wind up laying eggs. So, the way you tell the difference is, if you look down in the, the cells, okay, so you see right here in this comb, you see there's several eggs down there in the bottom. And you can see the same thing in these other ones that there's several eggs in there when a queen lays she lays one egg and it's straight up right in the middle of the cell um, and you can see in these that's not the case um, so that's definitely a, uh, a, a laying worker the other thing is you can see right here that is a drone bee um, that's working his way out of that cell now, whether he'll be successful or not, um, I don't know. There's a there's a larva right here, and another one right here. But this one appears to be I don't think that one's dead. But <clears throat> part of the problem, what happens is when a lay, when a worker lays an egg, <clears throat> if they raise it, all you're going to get is drones, and a drone cell looks like this. It's kind of domed up, whereas in if it was a a worker cell it would be just flat with the surface but you can see I've got several dead bees here that are trying to uh, work their way out um, I've also got I think this right here well he just ducked in you can see right here right in there I think I've got some wax moths in here um, because what happens is you get all these worker, uh, you get all these drone bees um, because the workers die, they don't live very long, and the only thing being born is drones, and drones don't do any work. Um, all they do is mate with a queen and eat uh, food. That's all they do. So. Um, <clears throat> This hive, unfortunately, from what I've read, there's really not anything we can do as far as uh, you, you can't put really add a queen in there because they've already got a laying worker and they won't accept the queen. So this particular hive is probably going to die, um, which is kind of sad because these bees were really gentle. I mean, I could work them really without even having to uh, give them any smoke. And they say that when they don't have a queen, they're even more aggressive and these guys didn't have a queen. So. But the good news is that uh, I have bought two nukes of bees that actually have queens and I've built some Langstroth hives uh, to go with that system because the deal is the nukes, it's a nucleus, so it's a small uh, beehive that's already established and going and it comes on frames that actually go in a, a traditional Langstroth type hive. So I had to make some to go with that. Those videos will be coming up. And, uh, but this one, it's already, you can see, you know, they're not taking good care of the comb. Um, it's starting to get kind of dirty and ugly. And uh, I just thought I would show it to you. See, like up here is some really pretty white comb as it is when they first make it. Um, you can see the attachments up here at the top. I thought you might be interested in seeing that. But anyway, uh, don't get discouraged. There's some, uh, oh, also here. You can see that shiny stuff in there. That's where they've stored that sugar syrup that I was feeding them. Now this is a swarm box that I built. And I think probably what happened, um, the guys that caught that swarm for me, I, I, when I made this box, you can see that the top bars are even with the sides. That was a mistake. I should have made these sides about a half inch taller. Because what happened was the guys that collected the, those bees for me, they took out one of these they kind of spread these out and they laid the swarm on top and so then the bees went down through these grooves and went down in there well when they closed it 
there was still a bunch of bees on top and I'm wondering if the queen was actually on top and when they closed it uh, there were, a bunch of them got crushed right in here uh, because when I opened it up there was a bunch of crushed bees uh, right here and so I think that's probably what happened to her um, she probably got smashed um, when that happened but um, not you know I'm not sure that that's that that's how it happened but you know if you make this swarm box uh, bring these sides up about another half inch um, so that when you shut the lid you still got space um, here at the top all right well that's the end of the video I just thought uh, you might like to see this um, I thought it was really interesting and uh, the the bees did a great job you know making comb and and all um, it's just unfortunate that there wasn't a queen and so they really didn't have a chance to survive but I'm sure my new hives will do great I got them started uh, yesterday unfortunately I was not able to film uh, putting the nuke, nukes in the new hives because uh, there were some weather issues and I had to hurry and some stuff like that. But uh, anyway, upcoming videos on making uh, the Langstroth hives, uh, making some nucleus hives, and uh, maybe some new stuff on uh, those those bee hives. Don't worry, my channel's not going to turn into an all bee uh, channel. Thank you for watching.